In this video, we're going to shuffle an array in C. So by shuffle an array, what I mean is randomly rearrange the elements of the array, as if we were shuffling a playlist of songs or shuffling a deck of cards. And we'll actually do an example that's based off of shuffling a deck of cards. So the first thing we'll do is say number define deck size 52, because a standard deck of cards has 52 cards. And then we'll make an array of integers to represent each card in a deck. So we'll say int cards deck size. And then we'll store the numbers 1 to 52 into this cards array. So we'll say for int i is equal to 0, i is less than deck size, i plus plus. And we'll set cards at i equal to i plus 1. So when the index is 0 to 51, we're going to store the numbers 1 to 52. We'll create a function to perform the actual shuffling itself. So we'll say void shuffle int array and int length. And the function is going to accept an array of integers as an argument, as well as the length of that array. And it's going to perform the shuffling. So we'll copy and paste this. And we'll provide a definition of the function down here. Now to perform the shuffle, we're going to randomly swap elements in the array. So to do that, we're going to have to use the ran function to actually generate a random number. So we'll also include the stdlib.h library, as well as the time.h library, so that we can seed the random number generator to ensure the random numbers are different each time our program runs. And that's the first thing we'll do, is seed the random number generator by calling srand. And we're going to pass srand the return value of the time function when it's called with the argument null. So the time function, when it's called with the argument null, is going to return the current time. And we're going to give that as the argument to srand. So by seeding the random number generator with a different number each time our program runs, because the time is always going to be different each time our program runs, we're going to be ensuring that the random numbers are different each time our program runs. So the way we're going to solve this problem from here is that we'll create a loop with a counter variable that's going to go over each index in the array. So we're going to take i from 0 up until length, incrementing it by 1 each time. And for each element in the array, what we're going to do is generate a random number between 0 and length minus 1. In other words, some index in the array. And we'll swap whatever is at index i with this randomly generated index. So here we'll say int swap index is equal to rand modulus length. So rand is going to be some random integer between 0 and some very, very high value. When we do modulus length, that's going to return a number between 0 and length minus 1. And we're going to store that into swap index. And then what we'll do is swap whatever is in the array at index i with whatever is in the swap index. So here we'll say int temp is equal to array i, and we'll store whatever is in array i into the temp variable. And then we'll store into array i whatever is in the array at the swap index we've just generated. And then we're going to overwrite whatever is in array at the swap index with what's in our temp variable, which was what was previously in the array at index i. And this will complete the swap of what's in the array at index i and what's in the array at the swap index. So if we do this for each element in the array, we're going to have a substantially rearranged array. Now, it is possible that the swap index will actually equal i. And that's fine. If you think about shuffling a deck of cards, it's technically possible that a card ends up exactly where it was to begin with, and that's okay. So now that we've done this shuffle function, let's call it. We'll say shuffle, we'll give it cards as the first argument, the array, and deck size as a length. And after we've shuffled our deck of cards, let's print it out now. We'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than deck size, i plus plus. And we'll print out the elements of the array. We'll say printf cards percent d is equal to percent d slash n. And we'll output the index i 
and the value in the cards array at index i. So we'll save this now and we'll run it. And we expect to get back a shuffled cards array. And you can see that that cards array has been shuffled because we put in the numbers from one to 52, but you can tell they've been completely rearranged now. And so this is how we can shuffle an array in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.